This video has been a long time coming. We've decided to do another series deep diving into the former relationships that Trisha has had, because so many lies have been spread at this point that we feel like there needs to be some record of proof. Trisha has made serious accusations against nearly every former boyfriend that she has had, and it's time to shed light on what the actual truth is. And we're starting from the beginning with the first boyfriend that she has ever had. Anthony Michael Hall Anthony Michael Hall was a very well-known actor in the 80s who was most notable for his role as Brian Johnson in The Breakfast Club. Before we get into how Trisha met Anthony, we need to highlight the timeline of events. Starting with Trisha admitting that Anthony Michael Hall was her first boyfriend so that you can see why this video had to be made. And then my first boyfriend when I was 18, it was like seven times a day, seven to ten times a day. He was crazy. Anthony Michael Hall from The Breakfast Club. Okay. He was a sex fiend. He like wanted to have sex like ten times a day. It was crazy. I don't know how that's possible. So... Don't you guys have shit to do? That's like when you're no. at home and there's nothing to do. He didn't have anything to do. This was after Dark Knight and before he started getting popping again with like these, I don't know if he's popping, but you What's know. What's his name? Anthony Michael Hall. I'll say it because I said it all day long. That's cool. He's got a huge dick and he can fuck for 10, 10 like. This 10 was times. your first boyfriend? Yeah. Type in our names together Anthony Michael Hall, Trisha Paytas. Who is this? What is it? Well, I saw he was in Batman. From The Breakfast Club. He's from The Breakfast Club and 16 Candles. <laughs> Edward Scissorhands. Oh, yeah. Edward oh. Scissorhands. The Dead Zone. He doesn't do much now. There's though. us. Yeah. So there was me when I was 18. Oh, no, I was 19 there. Wow, he was Whoa. a bit older, eh? He was 44. Oh my god. Was he doing penis injections? No. I... And he looks a little creepy, I'm not gonna lie. He looks yeah. like a crusty old dude. He's a little creepy, but... During her second visit on the H3 podcast, Trisha informs Ethan that her very first boyfriend was Anthony Michael Hall. And here's where it already gets foggy. She claims to have met and dated Anthony when she was 18 years old. This is information that she spread not only on the H3 podcast, but on her very own channel where she shared additional information about where she met her first boyfriend, Anthony, when she was 18. You know, my first boyfriend, I met at a comic book convention that I was working at with Sci-Fi for the show I did called Who Wants to Be a Superhero. You know what you remind me of in, when you were younger? And I don't mean this in like a bad way because like, I thought he was super hot and he was my Fred. first boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, Fred was my first boyfriend. No, did you ever see the movie The Breakfast Club? Of course. You remind me of um, Anthony Michael Hall in that movie. Hmm. Oh, okay, so the door. Yeah, but I mean. <laughs> okay. Hey, babe, I, he was on like a horse, so. Oh, you could have left that out. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff I don't need to know. I'll make a list. And we'll put that at the top of it. I just, I was trying to make you feel better, but I didn't re and <laughs> Why would that make me feel better? Because, like, yeah, okay, he was nerdy, and maybe you didn't look super, like, you know, you weren't Brad Pitt, but, like. Yeah, but he gave it to me every night with, a, with an eight-inch dog. <laughs> it wasn't eight inches, it was, like. 13. But I've always liked older guys. Like, my first boyfriend, Anthony Michael Hall, was like 43 and I was 18 when we dated. Now, before we continue, we need to do a little math here. Trisha claims she dated Anthony when she was 18 years old. Trisha was born in May of 1988, which would make the year that she dated Anthony 2006. Now, this is important because she mentions an actor that she dated in 2006 who abused her. It's during a frenemies vlog with Ethan when she brings up this actor taking her to a specific area of LA. Now, keep in mind, she already stated that Anthony was her first boyfriend at 18 years old. She states that this actor brought her to this specific area in 2006 when she was 16 years old. I used to come here in 2006, like way 25 years past its prime, when I dated, um... <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I guess I shouldn't say that anymore. Say it! There's, uh, I, <laughs> no. <laughs> but we used to go here, and they were, like, 50 years old, and they were still, like, doing drugs and shit like that, and they were, like, hooking up. This is when I was, like, 16 years old, and people were, like, hooking up with me. It was kind of gross, actually. It's a little dark. However, as we already calculated, Trisha was not 16 years old in 2006. Trisha would have been 18 years old, which matches up with the timeline of her saying that her first boyfriend was an actor that she dated in 2006. Making this man that she's talking about now Anthony Michael Hall. But here's where things get even more murky. Remember, Trisha told us that she met this actor at a convention. This convention was for a reality show that Trisha did back in the day titled, Who Wants to Be a Superhero? Where she appeared as the contestant Ms. Limelight. And while the series did begin in 2006 when Trisha was 18 years old, Trisha was not on the first season. 
She was on the second season sometime in 2007 when she would have been 19 years old. And the convention that she went to for this show was not held until 2008 when she was 20 years old. Here's proof of a premiere party in 2007 where you can see Trisha representing the show. And also a Tumblr blog post in which she states that she was in fact on the second season, which premiered in 2007, not the first which premiered in 2006. If her season premiered in 2007, she would not be at any conventions prior to that year because she would be representing a character that had not been released yet. The first convention that she attended for this show was actually 2008 which we can prove. You can see that here in a fan's blog post who posted about the convention when it happened in 2008. They even have a picture of Trisha from the event. This is the earliest picture you will find of Trisha at a convention for this show. As you can see, the date is May 22, 2008. Trisha was born on May 8, 1988, meaning that when this picture was taken she would have been 20 years old. She stated on her Tumblr that she did conventions for two years. And while she says that she was 18 while on the show, she was not 18 when she began traveling the convention scene. She started in 2008 when she was 20. More proof of that is this picture of her at a convention from 2009 promoting the show as Ms. Limelight. If she was 18 when she started doing the conventions, that would mean she would have done the conventions from 2006 to 2008 and no later. There is no proof of her at these conventions in 2006 because she had not even premiered on the show until 2007. The conventions began for the second season in 2008 when Trisha was 20, meaning the earliest she could have possibly met Anthony was when she was 20 years old. Now, if you remember what she said when she was talking to Ethan about when she dated Anthony, you'll remember she mentioned that it was after Anthony appeared in the movie The Dark Knight. Okay. He was a sex fiend. He, like, wanted to have sex, like, ten times a day. It was crazy. I don't know how that's possible. So... Don't you guys have shit to do? That's like when you're no. at home and there's nothing to do. He didn't have anything to do. This was after Dark Knight. The Dark Knight was released in 2008. That's the same year that Trisha was at this convention. And remember, she said this was after The Dark Knight, meaning that Trisha and Anthony could not have possibly met in 2006 when she was 18 let alone when she was 16, because they didn't meet until 2008 when she was 20 years old. Further proof of this can be found on her Twitter where she mentions dating Anthony for five years. That would mean if she dated Anthony in 2008, that she would have broken up with him in 2013. That tracks as you can see here where she discusses her breakup in March of 2013. The reason we know this is Anthony that she's referring to is because she posted about being with him just a week prior. And previous to this breakup tweet, she was tweeting about him for years prior. Here are a couple of those tweets where she shares pictures of him from just the year before the breakup. If Trisha had dated Anthony in 2006 when she was 18, that means they would have broken up in 2011. But as you can see by the dates on the tweets, she was with him in both 2012 and 2013. Trisha was not 16 years old or 18 years old when she dated this man, she was 20 years old. That is a huge difference from being an underage child. In fact, when the photo of her and Anthony from 2012 was shown on the H3 podcast, Trisha stated that she was 19 years old in the picture. But as you can see in January of 2012 she would have been 24 in that picture. She seems to be aging herself down and aging him up to make it appear as if the relationship was more sinister than it was. The truth is that Trisha was 20 years old when she met and dated Anthony Michael Hall. And Anthony was 40, that's a far cry from her being 16 and him being 50 like she's tried to say. By saying that she was only 16 years old she's accusing this man of an illegal crime. In fact, Trisha did not even live in California when she was 16 years old, which would have made it impossible for her to be taken to the LA club scenes when she was a teenager. She lived in Illinois with her mother. 
She did not move to LA until she was 18 years old, by her own admission. You guys know I moved to um, LA when I was 18. Prior to that, I grew up in a small town in Illinois. So her allegation of Anthony dating her as a child or even a teenager is just not true. They met when she was an adult at 20 years old. Now that we've cleared that up, we want to address another lie that she has been telling about him. You're gonna be Mrs. Anthony, like he would talk like that. He's like, you're gonna be Mrs. Anthony Michael Hall, like crazy. And I was 18 and I'm like, okay, don't talk to an 18 year old like that unless you're serious because in my head, I was like, oh, we're getting married and like, that's it, that's, that's it. A teenager should never be with a 50 year old. I was a teenager with a 50 year old. I was like 16 with a 50 year old. I was 18 with a 50 year old. I was 16 you know. with a 50 year old? Yeah! Truth is, up until like 10 years ago, it was just common place that these old rich celebrity dudes were just fucking and dating young girls. And they're like, this is all good. This is what I made it. But only like in the past 10 years, these guys need to like rein it in because people are being like, that's not cool. It's so gross. I called them out even when I was that age. I remember when I aged out at like 21, I was calling people out that were fucking me when I was like 19 and they were fucking 50 year old actors. And I was like, you're disgusting. You want to name one now? I've already named some of them. They're not anyone like whatever, but mm. Anthony Michael Hall. We talked about this before. We talked about this from Breakfast Club 16 Candles. She makes this claim about him manipulating her at such a young age, and she uses her being nearly 18 years old to really sell the story about how wrong it was. Only Anthony didn't know Trisha when she was 18, he didn't know her until she was 20, as we've proven. We believe she purposefully ages herself down in these stories that she makes up so that she can vilify these men further. And as you can see she continues to switch from being 16, to 18, to 19 in these stories. None of which are true. Since again she did not meet Anthony Michael Hall, the man she repeatedly states was her first boyfriend, until she was 20 years old. She's claimed that he was toxic and abusive and that she has always called him out for this. And while we can't speak to personal details about the inner workings of that adult relationship, we can shed light on what she said about Anthony years and years after dating him. Prior to her most recent allegations, Um, <laughs> and uh, Michael, my, Anthony Michael Hall in the AT&T commercials, like I have to represent, you know what I mean? Like I was in love with all, like those three guys. Those are the three guys I was in love with. I will represent them till the day I die. I'm a fucking crazy bitch. So I get why they don't want to talk to me, but not that they don't want to talk to me, but they don't. <laughs> they necessarily don't need to want to engage with me any further. So I like actually chopped their dicks off. And then like when we kind of like broke up and I hadn't heard from him for a while, I decided to literally buy, not buy a place, like get a place right next to him. In the moment, you're always like, oh my God, this is the worst thing ever. Like he just doesn't understand that we're meant to be together, like blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, my friend Jeff <laughs> sent me a, um, this is not funny, but sent me a text this morning of Anthony Michael Hall. I just thought it was so funny. But you know what, he's thriving. And honestly, I love seeing people thrive, except like, honestly, well, you know what, I do. Even my first, very first who I consider boyfriend out here in LA when I was like 18, he was like 45. I, I like seeing him, he found, he's engaged, which is so weird because he was like 45 when I knew him, so he's probably like 55 now. And he was just one of those people that's like, you know, if they haven't been married and have kids yet, they're probably never going to. Um, and he uh, he's engaged um, to a pretty woman, somewhat age appropriate it looks like. She looks like she might be in her 30s, which is, I guess, age appropriate for someone in their 50s. I don't know. So that's the thing about age child stars. I'm like, that's so crazy. They were so famous and in so many big movies and now they just can't have, or they can't get jobs in, in any movies. I think of like Anthony Michael Hall from like The Breakfast Club. Cause I, saw, I was watching a John Hughes reunion thing on Josh Gad's YouTube channel where he got all these people that were in John Hughes movies to say lines from them and Anthony Michael Hall was on there. I was like, it's so crazy. He was like the, a huge star in all these huge movies in the 80s and now Feldman, who I loved, he was so sweet. He was on my podcast. I asked him to do it. It was very nice of him to do it. But he was in some big ass movies, and just people want, don't want to hire him anymore. Is it because they're so known for being that those in those kid movies? They need someone like Quentin Tarantino to like research their career. I learned with some therapist. There's no time limit to get over a breakup. You're allowed to think about that person as long as you i still think about my first boyfriend anthony michael hall who recently got engaged 
I was, I dated Anthony Michael Hall from about 18 to 21 years old. And, um, he, he just got engaged and that hurts. That still hurts me. Even though we broke up when I was 21, I'm still very upset about his engagement. I've, I've had that happen too, but I, I don't feel hurt. I feel like, I feel a little shocked. Like, oh, that could have been me. Yes. Or like, oh, wow, that's happening for them, but not me. Yeah. So you're still comparing. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You still. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot of comparison. I'll compare for the rest of my life to my, Anthony Michael Hall, my first boyfriend. Not only did Trisha actively promote Anthony, but she spoke of having the hope of reviving his career. She also spoke about moving closer to him after he broke up with her. If Anthony was abusive in some way, why would Trisha promote that type of predatory behavior by supporting an alleged abuser having a platform? Why would her friend be sending her updates about this guy so many years later so casually? Why would she move closer to him just so that she could be near him rather than further away? In a now-deleted video titled, This Addiction Will Kill Me From 2020, Trisha even wore Anthony's face on her shirt. Trisha has a tendency of talking out of both sides of her mouth. One minute she's claiming someone is the greatest person in the world, and in the next breath she's alleging that they abused her in some horrific manner. The reason she's able to get away with this is because it's all hidden within hours of footage that nobody has the time to watch. So she's able to go on bigger platforms like the H3 podcast or even Frenemies, and make up lies about people that are innocent of the crimes that she's accusing them of. And nobody questions it. Anthony Michael Hall did not date Trisha Paytas when she was 16 years old. He did not even date her when she was 18 years old. He dated her when she was an adult at 20 years old and we cannot keep letting her lie about people to play the victim.